getting started with the NCE power cab. So first things first, we'll do the wiring. With the connector supplied, the track screws into the screw terminals on the left and the power supply plugs in on the right. Plug these wires into the track. Note, for use with analog power tracks, remove the capacitor in the middle. On the connector, plug in the flat wire to connect the NTE power cap. Note, the coiled wire is not for use with the NCE power cap. The flat wire then can plug into the NCE power cap. Keep the coiled wire for use with other features. Once all the wiring has been complete, it's just a case of switching on and seeing if it turns on. In this case, it does. So what we have over here is we have the class 150 buyback one. Just put it around so you can see. There's the 150, and this is on DCC. So here is the controller. It's set to loco. 04 and just move this back. Got it set to locomotive 04. So this is the class 150. And to move it forward, so we just click increase. Or we can use the throttle. Then we can change direction using the direction button. You can make a move in the other direction as well. Right, so that's the train moving. To turn off the headlights, um, or just directional lighting, you use the headlight button, which is here. That turns on and off function zero. You can also turn it off on and off using zero at the bottom here so all of these buttons down here when you're in loco mode these will change the functions on the loco turn them on and off we've also got horn whistle and bell here but don't have DCC sound on this train can go. so we can use the headlight or the function zero to control the directional lighting Also, we have the emergency stop button here. Right. So, say we want to program a locomotive. So, this locomotive is set to four. You can't see the screen there. So, I can hit program dash escape, and that will bring up program or main. Click enter. And we're going to program loco number four. I'm going to do the address, and we're going to change it to. I'm going to want to program the short address. We're just going to keep it at four. So just program it again to four. So what that's done is it's changed its address from four to four, which basically means it's done nothing. If you want to program a CV, you just change one of the options along so I think it gave you an option to change the address, CV, etc, etc. Control accessories, what we do is we find the button down here it says select accessory, do accessory number one, enter and we're going to change it to red. So that's changed the signal over here wherever it is yeah, there, to red. Change trains and select a different train. All we need to do is go select loco. See it's gone into loco, so we're going to select loco number three. And loco number threes. And there, there it's the Voyager. So I can do is I can now do headlight. and I'll turn the headlights back off again using the headlight button. So that's basically how you change trains on the controller and you can change back just going select loco into loco it's loco number four and 
Got the train selected. Get it moving. So once we've got the train moving, we can also change the momentum of the train. This will basically mean how quick it speeds up or how slow it slows down. So I'm going to set the momentum to 6. So that's how slowly it slows down on 6. If I set the momentum to 7, I think I had on 6 before. So we can do a fast increase of speed. Just show you how it works. So as you can see there, if that was on momentum zero, it literally would have gone forward as soon as I pressed um, increase fast and then jammed to a halt immediately as I pressed increase slow. So let's change the momentum to zero and you'll see what I mean. Ooh. I should change direction so I can get it in shot. And then let's stop it. Yeah. And that's on momentum zero. So if we change it to nine, we can do basically the same thing. So the momentum is now at nine. And it, this is the max amount it can speed up and slow down. So it'd be max smoothness. Oh. It's momentum. Sure, I set it to nine. Nine. Hmm, that doesn't look like momentum's doing. But for most trains anyway, it does gradually slow it down. Um, I think it's probably because this train um, it has 128 speed steps and it only uses the first 30, so you won't speed up. So if you um, put this on momentum nine and you sent it around the layout full speed and then set it to zero immediately it would take a few laps around the layout to slow down and track length for around the layout would say it would be about 10 meters so that's 20 meters to slow down which is a considerable amount Right, so that's all the basics of the NTE Power Cab. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Please comment, like and subscribe. Thank you.